uh, things. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Ray Ashinewe, founder of Hallelujah Nigeria. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, we're not talking politics this morning, as you know. <laughs> but let's look at what is happening. You've heard, uh, you've heard from uh, Bill Gates there way back yes. in 2015. You've heard the Nigerian woman experience. Um, what's your take on the origin or the cause of this virus? You bear in mind what Bill Gates said. Years back, now we are experiencing it. Let's begin from there. Uh, I think, uh, to be very uh, precise with you, uh, we cannot underestimate the idea and uh, perspective of uh, prediction. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody will say he predicted. But uh, this man also, when you look at him, at what happened between the, uh, the virus, in a, a virus in a computer, when he introduced a computer system, uh, he has had a process. Okay, let me introduce the problem and give a solution. And here, if he's talking, if he have also predicted that something will happen, and uh, way back, some few years after that, the world starts saying this. That means we look at him that what he's saying is already is a work on work at the back. That means there is an interior motive concerning what is happening right now. Okay. So I look at it from the system that uh, there's an interior motive. Because if he already knew that this will happen and create a system that we're going to take place that will bring the solution and then way back why I, I read a book and they were saying that they were looking at the solution they were still studying the virus but he is talking about the the vaccine now then how do you know that means you are prepared already that this thing will happen and then it, you now want it to be what on the system and i i remember that it's a target on uh the world economy which will benefit him as a person and the man that came out and said, it's a, it's a Nobel this thing, was it? Yeah, Nobel, so he yeah. said that if at the end of the day you could see that what I'm saying is wrong, he knew what he was saying. For me, my take is that it's a calculated issue. A calculated issue. Yes. We come back to the Nigerian woman. You heard her deal there. Yes. Uh, are, are you surprised? I'm not surprised because we are in a, in, in a system that is corrupt, perverse. When the system, you know, when we talk about uh, what they call it, corruption here, is eating deep into us. And every slight thing that enters Nigeria is taking another throne, another level entirely. So this is just our system. But I want to say that it would have been a wonderful time for Africans, majorly Nigeria, that should be a driving force to come out and bring solution to the world. Not a time to play politics, not a time to, to, to display our corruption that have eaten deep into leadership. I will look at here that this is a leadership problem, this is a systematic problem in Nigeria, and uh, we just have to come out from it and find solutions here. We were once told uh, by the Minister of Health that um, we were looking at local solutions. Yeah. Even the, the Commissioner uh, for Health too in Lagos mm said the same thing, but we've not heard anything. And does it not surprise you that uh, Madagascar, that has found a solution, is not being supported by the WHO? Now, what you should look at here is that we are, we are, we are a kind of people that do not support our own. We do not believe in ourselves. The first uh, discovering any man we do, we achieve, is what I call self-discovering. Until Nigerians and Africa start discovering themselves. The modern day civilization we are seeing today come from Africa. The Ethiopia, the Egyptians of those days. They always say they, the Western world even learned from us. And after the, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the slave trade, mm. it is one of our best. Look at the system that developed the Western world. It is one of our best. The African, the black person. So this, let me be frank with you. The solution of this is in Nigeria. We have it. What happens to the research institutes? What happened to the medical doctors we have? What happened to those that, we, that have solution? The medical things we have here. But the truth about the matter is that because of what I call tribalism, because of religionism and other sentiments, we will not look in within and get solution. The solution is here. That is probably why uh, we've not had any support to uh, Professor Morris, who, who said they had a solution to this. Because we are, we are, we are divided in tribalism, we are divided in religion, we are divided, we, we, are, we place sentiment on everything, and this would have been something that would have sell Nigeria to the world. Would have what I would say here is that this would have also devastated our our economy to health, from the petroleum to what to health. If somebody tells you I have a solution, why not you listen to him? Look at Madagascar. Why would they listen to Madagascar? Because it's not from the Western world. They did not expect that the solution can come from Africa. 
But are we, are we employ other African leaders that are already taking solution already by buying the, 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 this thing from them? It's, it's wonderful. The solution is here. Mm -hmm. I believe in Haba. I believe in the solution that Africa have what it takes. If we are the mother of, of civilization in the world, the solution is with Africa. Dr. Okonjo Iwala, I've heard on BBC uh, on this issue, saying yes. that whoever is working on vaccines for COVID-19 should work with African scientists. Do you see that happening? Of course, because the truth about the matter is that an African man is an embodiment of wisdom. But what an African man needed is to get himself discovered, remove what I call a, a level of you, bring it down yourself. Naturally, if I, well, every solution, or every this thing you have seen, Africa is involved. We are an embodiment. We understand things. We understand theories. So. What here is there is that I believe that this, at this point in time, that God wants to use this to celebrate Africa. And mm -hmm. Nigeria must not miss out in this whole thing. You're watching at home. We want you to be part of this conversation. What do you think or believe now about COVID-19 pandemic? Tell us what you think. Uh, you, you must have heard so many things. You must have read about so many things. You must have heard uh, some discussions somewhere. Tell us, as a person, as a Nigerian, what do you now believe about the COVID-19 pandemic. Call us on the numbers on your screen and share with us. You, you, you remember, Dr. Ray, that yes. um, uh, not too long ago, the, the bill trying to uh, form or empower the NCDC went to the House of Representatives. And it caused a lot of this because they were trying to fast track, uh, fast track the, the person the and person. it had to be stopped somehow. Um, uh, we've heard now that Bill Gates did visit the House of Representatives sometime in the past. Definitely. Now, you, you were once in politics. There was also an allegation, an allegation that uh, he paid the House to fast track that thing, which the House has denied and even threatened to go to court. But uh, is it out of place as a politi former politician? It, would that have been possible for, for some money to well, have exchanged? You know, when a child have a bad name already or have a bad image, you, mm. you, you can just give him anything. anything. So I, I would say that there is no proof Okay. To that, mm. for me, I will sit back here and say that on the mind. Yeah. We also have people with integrity in the House of Assembly, right. in the Senate. Okay. So, and uh, because our uh, you count somebody that is a criminal mm. among many, you can give them many names. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying that we should be able to get to an extent that our those in leadership in Nigeria should have integrity. integrity. We should have integrity so that anybody will not just come up and label us anything. But the truth about the matter, too, is that the way they are going, the way the Africa, Nigeria is not a dumping ground. We have been able to make ourselves a dumping ground. This is the same place that we have to kumbo clothes. We have to kumbo cars. Every nonsense that is gotten is being gotten here. Yeah. So let's change the system. Let's, let's change, change the ideology. Okay. They must not start from us. They must not start from us. We'll hold it there. We have Ezekiel calling from Ikbaja. Hello, Ezekiel. Hello, Ezekiel. Hello, Ezekiel. Are you still on the line? Okay. Uh, maybe he's having some uh, challenges getting across. Okay. We shouldn't be a dumping ground. But as you said, the, the leaders have to wake up and they have to wake up. agree that we can do something within. Definitely. And until that happens, we remain a dumping ground. Definitely. Now, they have to also change the mindset of the people that we are not corrupt. Okay. I will not undermine that also have people that have integrity within the Senate. Now, let's allow, that's, 2023 is coming very soon, and it's a time for us to decide to have a new system of leadership. Nigerians should be able to come up to tell them, I think this, this system will be able to teach Nigeria a lesson, Nigerians a lesson, that we need those that are vibrant in leadership. Mm. And if we have those that are vibrant in leadership, they won't play politics. They won't play sentiments. They won't place religionism there. But rather, they will do the right thing that will develop Nigeria in the course of Africa. If civilization started from Africa, it shouldn't be diminished. Definitely. We should come back to it. We and you say it, it needs integrity to yes. do that. Okay. Now, the vaccine, the vaccine being uh, propagated by uh, Bill Gates will cause serious side effects. These are his words in no less than 70,000 people. people. Why would such a product be in circulation in the first place? Now, that tells you that this man 
He's just doing a check and balance calculation. If you are to treat somebody and it will cause side effect to over 70,000, that also tells you that the value of, of lives is not being celebrated. This is a man that does not value life. I'm not talking about even one person really matters. It so matters. But you are talking about 70,000 people, human beings. So if the vaccine will cause a side effect for 70,000 people, it's not worth using. It's not the solution. The solution should be what? Should be, we should go ahead and look for solution. We must be able to put our answers in the right perspective and go for the best one. Big gate vaccine is not the answer to this world solution. And that is what part of what the NCD... Sorry, I also come here. Yeah. That the one that is Madagascar produced mm -hmm. have no side effects. Mm -hmm. If Madagascar uh, product and is curing them, have no side effect, why don't we use the African system and cure the, and cure the sickness? Must, must Western world be the one to bring solution? The solution? Must they be the one to bring solution? I must say here, I, stayed, I, I stand at this... Um, 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 platform the, I'm imagine the pastor that is on the television. Yes, we Nigerians, our politicians are just using this uh, issue to just get in and uh, deceiving the masses. Yes, we are sure that there is a, a, a pandemic. That is true. But the way that I'm going about this pandemic is not the way it's supposed to be. That's why people are not responding for whatever. That's why masses are do not care for whatever they are doing. Like what the, 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 our guest is saying there this morning, I appreciate you guys we are, we are, we are most be blessed. Because then this European people do not really want any good thing to come from Africa. And the God himself has begun good Africa with talent and blessings. Which that you can see both our men of God and people have been starting to get Asking God, what do we do to solve this problem? And God has given them inspiration. Okay. Thank you very much, Eze. But if he's not to. Mm. Okay. Eze calling from Bariga. Thank you. He, he's supporting what you're saying. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Africa Eze. should be the, in the forefront. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, it's an issue. Yes, you were talking about um, uh, uh, the vaccine. Yes. I, I, if if it will cause so much harm. Harm. It's not needed. We need it at all. We don't need it at all. But that is what the NCDC is trying to uh, legalize by saying that it should even be compulsory. That, that, the NCDC is an organization that also shows in our system people that do not value life. They have no value. If you, if you don't have value for life, that means you shouldn't be a leader. One person matters. Two person matters. Three person. Talking about 70. If the Madagascar product say to say it's not causing any side effects we should go for it senegal has gone for it mm. other countries have gone for it what happened to nigeria what is wrong with us what is wrong with our leadership what is wrong with our sentiments what is wrong with our value let's celebrate our own it is a high time for us to celebrate for africans to celebrate our own what is wrong with africa i i, I have a book i'm working on that is titled black is not lack Black is... It's not luck. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that. Let's hear from Aziz, calling from Mushin. Hello, Aziz. Hello, Aziz. Hello, Aziz. Are you there from Mushin? Oh, I hope we're not having issues with it. Yes, you say black is not... It's not luck. It's not luck. Yes. Okay. We are not lack of ideology. Hmm. We are not lack of wisdom. We are not lack of woman power. As a matter of fact, black has all it takes to rule the world. Even in the Western world, in they the are West, the ones making, the the one making things happen. So why not we now, right at, right at this point in time, take our own? Let me shock you. The Western world expect that by this time, Nigeria would have recorded over one million deaths. Yeah. But to God be the glory, the, the intention of man is different from the intention of God. Black is not lack. Let's look within and look for the solution. I want to call up on, on African leaders, including the Nigerian government, we should look within. The answer is here. We cannot afford to have over 70,000 side effects. It's much. Do you see uh, the Nigerian uh, government, talking about the leadership now, backpedaling on this uh, uh, bill? Because part of the things under vaccination is that it should be compulsory. Mm. And uh, at the same time, the NCDC has the right to exempt some people from taking the vaccine. But for others, it's compulsory. Okay. Parents must bring their children forward. If you don't have it, 
you may not be able to travel, for example, you may okay. not be able to board the plane and so on and so forth. Do you see them amending that portion in the light of what is now being exposed? Okay, but before you answer that, let's hear from Tina. Hello, Tina. Hello, Tina. Tina, are you there from uh, Unike? I hope we don't have something wrong somewhere else because uh, we've missed about three calls now. Tina, are you there? Well, okay. D do you see the government, you know, amending that portion? At least remove the compulsion? Okay. Because uh, I don't see why vaccine should be compulsory. For it anything. shouldn't be. Yeah. Now, looking at it from the side effect aspect, I won't see that my child, I, I have already heard that there's it's going to be 70,000. Uh, 70, yes. I won't carry my baby to come and take vaccine. I won't risk my life. I won't risk my, risk my family life. I won't risk my well wishes. So it shouldn't be compulsory. It should be that if you like it, I may decide. If at this point in time, somebody, if Madagascar only is working or Dr. Yu only is working, I would better go for him than go for something I knew that would cost me side effects. So it shouldn't be compulsory. If, they, if they, uh, the leadership of the Senate should be fair play here, it should not be made compulsory for everybody. It should be something that you take at will. As a matter of fact, we hear that the first uh, person who submitted, the f she's a woman in uh, Scotland, yes, uh, the first person to submit herself to the t test, they're the running now with their vaccine, uh, died two days after. So that's a pointer, uh, but it's just one case you may say. But for the Nigerian government, the NCDC bill is filled with suspicion and questions because in the first place, that uh, body is being financed also by Bill Gates Foundation. Ifani from Sulere, how are you? Hello, Ifani. I, I think this is uh, a bit Technical abnormal problem. because. Um, Fine from Sulere. Okay, Ifani, can we hear you now? I, I just want to comment. I want to comment on the story so far. Um, I'm so glad we did kind of conversation so far, you know. Um, I don't really have much, but my point is, we don't want to study on the technology. We, we, we can't really and hear you. Is, the line is more full. Uh, so far. And uh, people like him are supposedly in this country. Yes. So I'm so glad we uh, did I'm afraid if I, uh, we, 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 we're not getting any word at all. Can't even get it. Uh, we can't get anything from what you're saying. Um, we don't know, but uh, the line is really bad. Um, could you try another line, please, if I, if you don't mind, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, please, just try another line. Yes, back to what we were saying about the the... The, the vaccine. The, the, he, uh, Bill Gates Foundation is the major funder of the NCDC in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, so is it a question of uh, he who pays the piper? <laughs> the data tool. Of course it is. Because if, if we, sh first of all, we should be able to value the life of our citizen. And if they are working for the public, it sh everything shouldn't be about money. We have a very porous system in Africa that people have value for money instead of having value for life and humanity. Then if Big Gates is sponsoring them and he wants to sell his own products, then of course they want to walk in line of who is paying them, of who is bringing money. But it shouldn't be in detriment of the Nigerian people. Nigerian matters a lot. Mm. African people matters a lot because they are the one that put you in that public office. The person you kill today may be the answer for Africa. The person you play pranks with his life today may be the answer of the world entirely. So the NDC, NCT, NCTC should be able to understand that at this point in time, I would uh, use the Bible to quote something here, that God placed them there for a reason. Mm. And if they fail, generation will not forgive them. Generation will not forgive them. We have uh, a puzzle somewhere. If you talk about the vaccine being produced, now various countries are producing their own. Yeah. And... Okay, we have a caller from Oshodi. Hello? Hello? Sunday? Hello, Sunday? Okay. I think something is 
fundamentally one. wrong. So, uh, all the calls cannot uh, be cutting off just like that. Can we please uh, do some checks? Let's do some checks, please. Uh, we just lost another call from uh, Sunday. Um, that's the fourth one from my record here. Please, let's do some checks and uh, ensure that... Uh, Ezekiel is calling back. Hello, Ezekiel. Hello, Ezekiel. Hello. Hello, Ezekiel. Good to hear from you. Okay. Uh, I'm glad to be back online. I've actually tried the first line the other time before it was there. Uh, okay. Frustrating. But I hope you can hear me now. Yes, we can. Very well. Thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Hello? Yes, I can. Go on. Go on. Go on. Please All tell right, him we can hear him. So, I will find ourselves in a nation like this. Uh, like I was listening to the governor of Cross River State about some days ago online. Mm -hmm. The guy, I think uh, Cross River is one of the states where we've not uh, declared any issue for now with Kogi State. Hmm. And he said clearly in his stance that it is not normal scientifically for you as a person to confine someone indoor yeah. for this. Because that alone will cause your immune to go down. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to portray what you guys have been saying. Because you know that most of this thing they are doing is a calculated move. Would they believe that, okay, if you guys are indoor for X, Y, Z amount of days, there's every tendency that your immune is going to drop. Yeah. And in one way or the other, somebody else must complain of one ailment or the other. Just like the woman you played the clip for us, it has gone viral. Someone who was jet lagged, only for her to land back in her own country, and she was tagged, stigmatized of what? Of COVID. From the woman's statement, she said she has stayed, as at the time she made that recording, that for 43 days, she's been detained. And at the same time, she has never felt any symptoms. Mm -hmm. Why should you still delay her? Why should you still keep her there? So which means there's something our government are not telling us. They are just trying to take advantage of Nigeria simply because we people, you know, we, 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 we believe so much in them, we give them power, and they are abusing the power. I just pray that, so, you know, someday, someday, God will give us the ability to stand up against these people and to face them and to tell them the truth. We are not like every other countries of the world. We are Nigeria. We are peculiar. Me as a person, I can tell you when last I've taken injection. If I fall sick, if I fall here, I go up. And I can tell you for more than two years now, I've never feel any symptoms of typhoid or malaria as a result of heart. So if we have all of these things within our environment, why can't we take advantage of it? Please, That's a question. you know, we get in all of these things. In fact, I want to give kudos to Super Screen because uh, if you listen to every other station, it's as good as they are paid to do propaganda. They keep, you know, spreading fear, keep spreading news that will cost you, you know, to, to even, you know, be afraid of stepping out of your door. Thank you very you much, know? Ezekiel. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate you and I appreciate the guests in the house. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ezekiel. Have a lovely day. Thank you. It's, talking about indoors, in the U.S., research showed that 60% of those uh, infected now were those sitting, you know, locked down, not those who were outside. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the point he's making now, which science has proven that the more you stay in, the more you, 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 you goes down because if you go out, even they said that that's why the part of the reason the U.S. Uh, the, the president is saying people should go, go out, out because yeah. the, the sun also has effect on that uh, virus. Definitely, as opposed to staying indoor, indoor. without the sun, uh, and these are issues our own leaders here are not questioning. Okay, they just accept everything and whatever happens, they will just copy and paste here, and I think it's dangerous as you have said. Apart from the U.S. too. It appears no other country is questioning the, the origin or the cause of this virus. Okay. They, they are the only country I know, uh, I stand to be corrected, that has said something is wrong here. Mm. This thing is not natural. Mm. All other countries are just complying with a plan already laid out. I, is, is, it not, is it not shocking that even our own government is not questioning how did this come about? The, the, the truth about the matter is that Africa is a market. It's a market for other world. Uh, to me, I'm seeing this as an economical war, and uh, the African, and more especially Nigerian, 
which is the, uh, how do I put it, hmm. the, 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 the most populous black uh, nation, nation yeah. on earth, existing. Uh, we are the greatest markets. And it is high time that the black man, the Nigerian person, the Nigerian leaders, need to understand that at this point in time, we should stand out. We need to question how, what you don't know how it comes. You can't be able to have a solution. Okay. It's like when Sunday is back on the line. Hello, Sunday. Hello, good morning. Oh, it's good to hear from you. Good morning. I'm very happy for this program. God will, God will help us on this content. It's these kind of things we need to be listening to. Then we can very well. Thank so, you. Maybe our leaders that can listen to this kind of program to do things. Because the way things are going on this country is very bad. Nigerian capacity, you know, some, something very worse. That one let people know that another five years to this time, another ten years to this time, we continue like this with these people, we will still have more worse problems. But my own prayer that God will not let us do anything like war, business, disease in the country. But we forget that they have read everything. What is there that you watch them, they are all perfect. As far as their children do, higher education. No, 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 they are the one that are doing things. They are the one that is here. So nothing for whatever they, they tell us. What they put us is here we must stay. Meanwhile, we are not animals. So I bet I, I love I really love this program. So oh, we have you people. Okay, thank you so, very much, Sunday. Thank okay, you for your okay. contribution. Okay. Yes, Dr. Ray, you were responding to uh, yes, the question. Uh, I want to say that uh, we also have to get to the level. If lockdown is causing more debt, mm. you can see that it, for every problem have its own peculiar system. I see people quoting the 1918, is it 1918 or yes, whatever yes. system? Mm -hmm. This one is peculiar yeah. because it is there is a lot of things we have not unveiled itself concerning this virus. Yes. So we should come with in another strategy for it. And that strategy is what our leaders should start looking for. When you lock down people, what are the solutions? What are the things that you are thinking about? Mm. Most countries during the lockdown, the research institute are working day and night to make sure they come up with a solution. Yeah. Locking down the people, there's a lot of, the economy is going down, mm -hmm. a lot of things going down, the health of the people is going down. We, is, we have to come up with a new idea. We have to come up with a solution. Not that the US will tell us this is how, what they do, and we now believe that this is what they do, and we follow the system. The idea of copy and paste, Africa should start coming up with that idea of copy and paste. When they see what a US person wear, and they want to wear the same thing. You wear an eyeglass, you want to wear the same thing, even though when eyes is not paining you. So we should stop the copy and paste from the Western world and live and bring a solution. Before the Western world brings the idea of what they call civilization, Egypt, the, West, the, the first civilization, have been staying. Africa have been ruling themselves and doing well. So let's come from that perspective. L l look at Egyptians, the way they preserve the debt. The pyramid and all the rest. Mm. Let's go back to ideology. Without, uh, without science, anything, without any science. As it is today. As we it is today. It Africa time. have the most power. The way that they, they, they manage family. The pyramids, they the build. pyramid, the build, the utopia, the, a lot of ideology that they brought into place. Let's go back to African, let's go back to our fathers, to African ideas. Let's go back to bring out, look within ourselves and bring that thing that makes us to be the solution, the mother of all humanity. I think, don't you think we have lost that touch with the past? Well, we, we lost it because... Because we've been so colonized and our mentality has been so reshaped. The and first reformed. thing you do to somebody is to change his mentality. Yeah. Uh, the African man now, more especially, I will tell you that even in Africa, the most colonized nation is Nigeria. We are, we, we are colonized in everything. We are colonized in, in everything. And the first thing you do to him is to break down his, his self-esteem. The self-esteem of an African man is there. So he believed that his life depends on somebody outside. I am staying here to ask our educational system, our research institute, go in within. Let's get a solution. We cannot wait for Big Gates and his people to give us a solution. The solution is here. Why do we have schools? Why do we have research institutes? Why do we have leaders? Let's get a solution from ourselves. It's within. 
Let's remove this. The, what we call uh, what the, our self esteem is already dead. If what if somebody is telling you, I will give you drugs and 70 will die, and you are still going for that, that means the person have lost his sense of self esteem. Let's get that back. Let's Thank you. get back our self esteem. Let's find a solution within. That's the summary of our discussion today. I want to thank Dr. Ray Ashinewe, founder of Hallelujah Nigeria, for thank coming on much. our show today. Thank you very much. I appreciate Let's it. find the solution here, and that's the message for the government from the U45 Morning Show. Thank you for the wonderful company. For those who are celebrating today, today is the 11th. Is it your anniversary? Is it your birthday? Whatever it is, happy celebration. We hope that COVID-19 will not stop your joy. Okay. Uh, remember, for those who are raising their children, 11 is also the age when children become highly critical of their parents and challenge their knowledge. So be ready to face your 11-year-old child. Right now, the face with some smiles, Simon Ambrose says, and if you see someone without any, give him one of yours. Bye-bye now.